WNT is derived from the terms wingless and int. The int oncogenes, including int1, were first identified in the mouse mammary tumor. In 1987, investigators sequenced wingless and drosophila and found it was the homologue of int1. Thus, the int slash wingless family became the WNT family and int1 became WNT1. The name WNT is a portmanteau of int and WG and stands for wingless related integration site. WNTS are secreted factors that regulate cell growth, motility, and differentiation during embryonic development. WNTS act in a paracrine fashion by activating diverse signaling cascades inside the target cells. The WNT family consists of a number of highly conserved genes that regulate gene expression, cell behavior, cell adhesion, and cell polarity, including 19 genes in humans and mice, 7 in Drosophila, and 5 in C. elegans. WNT1 is one member of a gene family whose additional members were isolated either as a target for MMTV insertion, WNT3, WNT3A was subsequently isolated by homology to WNT3, fortuitously from a chromosomal walk directed around the cystic fibrosis gene, WNT2, or from mouse embryo RNA using the polymerase chain reaction, WNT4, 5A, 5B, minus 6, 7A, and 7B. There are now at least 10 known members of the WNT family in the mouse, all of which are expressed during development, many in the developing nervous system with some expressed in adult brain as well. In addition, five members of the WNT family are expressed in the normal mammary gland in the mouse and are differentially regulated during pregnancy and lactation. This family has been remarkably well conserved throughout evolution, with homologs present in both invertebrates and vertebrates. The WNT signaling pathway is a conserved pathway. The WNT family of signaling proteins participates in multiple developmental events during embryogenesis and has also been implicated in adult tissue homeostasis. WNT signals are pleiotropic, with effects that include mitogenic stimulation, cell fate specification, and differentiation. The WNT signaling pathway is an ancient and evolutionarily conserved pathway that regulates crucial aspects of cell fate determination, cell migration, cell polarity, neural patterning and organogenesis during embryonic development. The WNTS are secreted glycoproteins and comprise a large family of 19 proteins in humans hinting to a daunting complexity of signaling regulation, function and biological output. WNT signaling is divided into two major branches, the canonical pathway and the non-canonical pathway. The canonical pathway is also called the wnt beta catenin pathway, and non-canonical pathways are two major non-canonical pathways, the WNT planar cell polarity pathway, WNT PCP pathway, and the WNT calcium pathway, WNT Ka2 plus pathway. Firstly, let's see the WNT slash beta catenin pathway. WNT proteins released from or presented on the surface of signaling cells act on target cells by binding to the frizzled, FC slash low density lipoprotein, LDL receptor-related protein, LRP, complex at the cell surface. These receptors transduce a signal to several intracellular proteins that include disheveled DSH, glycogen synthase kinase 3-beta, GSK3, axon, adenomatous polyposis coli APC, and the transcriptional regulator, beta-catenin. After phosphorylation, beta-catenin is ubiquitinated by beta-TRCP and subsequently degraded by the proteasome. Cytoplasmic beta-catenin levels are normally kept low through continuous proteasome-mediated degradation, which is controlled by a complex containing GSK3 APC slash axon. When cells receive WNT signals, the degradation pathway is inhibited, and consequently beta-catenin accumulates in the cytoplasm and nucleus. Nuclear beta-catenin interacts with transcription factors such as lymphoid enhancer binding factor 1 slash T cell specific transcription factor left slash TCF, to affect transcription. A large number of WNT targets have been identified that include members of the WNT signal transduction pathway itself, which provide feedback control during WNT signaling. Then, it is about the introduction of the WNT PCP signaling cascade. The pathway involves Rho and June kinase, J and K, and controls cytoskeletal rearrangements. Its main role is the temporal and spatial control of embryonic development. On a cellular level, this pathway regulates the polarity of cells through effects on their cytoskeletal organization. 
Cells in the epithelia are known to possess a defined apical basolateral polarity but in addition they are also polarized along the plane of the epithelial layer. The defining feature of this pathway is its regulation of the actin cytoskeleton for such polarized organization of structures and directed migration. WNT signaling is transduced through FC independent of LRP5-6 leading to the activation of DSH. DSH through DOM1 mediates activation of Rho which in turn activates Rho kinase, ROCK. DOM1 also mediates actin polymerization through the actin binding protein profilin. DSH also mediates activation of RAC, which in turn activates JNK. The signaling from ROC, JNK and profilin are integrated for cytoskeletal changes for cell polarization and motility during gastrulation. The WNT slash CA2 plus signal transduction cascade. The WNT slash CA2 plus pathway is stimulated by WNT5A and WNT11 and involves an increase in intracellular CA2 plus and activation of CA2 plus sensitive signaling components, such as comodulin dependent kinase, the phosphatase calcineurin, and the transcription factor NFAT. The WNT slash CA2 plus pathway can counteract the canonical WNT pathway. However, it is not clear whether this pathway is conserved in mammals and whether it is implicated in tumor genesis. WNT signaling via FC mediates activation of DSH via activation of G proteins. Disheveled activates the phosphodiesterase parade which inhibits PKG and in turn inhibits CA2 plus release. DSH through PLC activates IP3, which leads to release of intracellular CA2 plus, which in turn activates CAM11 and calcineurin. Calcineurin activates NFA to regulate ventral cell fates. CAMK11 activates TAC and NLK, which inhibit beta catenin TCF function to negatively regulate dorsal axis formation. DAG through PKC activates CDC42 to mediate tissue separation and cell movements during gastrulation. Once in the nucleus, beta catenin is thought to convert the TCF repressor complex into a transcriptional activator complex. This may occur through displacement of Groucho from TCF slash LUF and recruitment of the histone acetylase CBP slash P300, cyclic AMP response element binding protein. CBP may bind to the beta catenin slash TCF complex as a coactivator, a hypothesis that remains to be tested directly. Another activator, BRG1, is a component of the SWI slash SNF, switching defective and sucrose non fermenting, chromatin remodeling complex, which, with CBP, may induce chromatin remodeling that favors target gene transcription. Further interactions between the TCF beta catenin complex and chromatin could be mediated by legless, BCL9, and PIGAPO. Mutations in either of these genes result in wingless like phenotypes in Drosophila, and both genes promote WNT signaling in mammalian cell culture experiments. In adults, MIS regulation of the WNT pathway also leads to a variety of abnormalities and degenerative diseases, such as tetraamelia, bone density defects, tooth agenesis and colon cancer. Tetraamelia is an extremely rare autosomal recessive congenital disorder characterized by the absence of all four limbs. Other areas of the body are also affected by malformations, such as the face, skull, reproductive organs, anus and pelvis. The disorder has been proposed to result from WNT3 loss of function mutations. An LRP mutation has been identified that causes increased bone density at defined locations such as the jaw and palate. The mutation is a single amino acid substitution that makes LRP5 insensitive to DKK-mediated WNT pathway inhibition, indicating that the phenotype results from overactive WNT signaling in the bone. LRP5 mutations can also be accompanied by vasculature defects in the eye. In addition, a hereditary disorder, called familial exudative vitreopathy, FEVR, is caused by mutations in both LRP5 and the FC4 receptor, which results in defective vasculogenesis in the peripheral retina. A nonsense mutation in axon 2 has been shown to produce severe tooth agenesis, or oligodontia, a condition in which multiple permanent teeth are missing. In addition to tooth defects, individuals with axon 2 mutations display a predisposition to colon cancer. Moreover, the best known example of a disease involving a WNT pathway mutation that produces tumors is familial adenomatous polyposis FAP, an autosomal, dominantly inherited disease in which patients display hundreds or thousands of polyps in the colon and rectum. This disease is caused most frequently by truncations in APC, which promote a barren activation of the WNT pathway leading to adenomatous lesions owing to increased cell proliferation.
Mutations in beta-catenin and APC have also been found in sporadic colon cancers and a large variety of other tumor types. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website, www.creativediagnostics.com.